Matrix trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's Bigger Trick trivia time. And we'll feel it all out. All right. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome. My name is Holly with Bigger Tricks Entertainment. Thank you for joining us for General Knowledge Trivia tonight. We're going to get this game started here in just a couple minutes. But before we do, make sure that if you have not yet, you've joined the online game platform. Very simple to do. Just open up any internet browser and go to online.bigatricks.com. Enter in tonight's code, which is tricks 2 T-R-I-C-K-S-2. Now, if you clicked on the link that I posted on Facebook, you won't have to type all that in. It'll take you directly to the login screen that looks like this. And then enter at least this first blank uh, in the login screen. It's asking you for a nickname. What we're looking for here is your team name, what you want to go by in tonight's game. And then it's going to ask for your city. Uh, I'm not going to type all this in because I'm holding the dog. Uh, your city and your state. If you would like to tell us, I just like to see where people are joining us from. Uh, just browsing over this, we have somebody joining us from Detroit, Michigan. We have Miami, Florida, Arvada, Colorado. Uh, we have another Florida, Florida, a lot of Florida represented here tonight. Uh, Bloomington, Illinois, Kalamazoo, Michigan, another Michigan, a lot of Illinois. Uh, what'd you say? Oh yeah, kazoo. Uh, and then last but not least, if you could put in your Bigatrix loyalty program number, if you have one. If you don't, that's okay. You can sign up for free. There is a link in the description of this video on YouTube. But you do need one of those Bigatrix loyalty program numbers to earn taco bucks, which is how you can eventually redeem for some real life prizes. I'll tell you all about that in a second. But either way, once you're done, click on go. You'll see this screen. This is the game will begin shortly. That means you're all set. There's nothing else that you need to do except hang tight while we wait for everyone to join and I tell you how this game works. In the meantime, flip back over here. Uh, actually, here's Taco cleaning himself, so that's cool. Uh, welcome. My name is Holly. This is Pierre. He's our new dog. Some of you were with us Monday. We just rescued him. He's 10 years old. He's got a pot. Six teeth, did we determine? Um, but he's vivacious and he's still got love for life. So we're excited and to have food. him. Yeah, and love for food. Have him here in the Begatrix household. But he is certainly an old man. Uh, and we love him. So he's going to be your host this evening, actually. Go ahead, Pierre. <laughs> Ruff. Nothing. He actually hasn't barked since we brought him home. Uh, so unlike taco. unlike taco taco makes up for it uh but anyway thanks for being here tonight guys this is general knowledge trivia tonight's game is free to play uh absolutely no cost to play tonight's game but if you feel so inclined these links will be here all evening in the corner if you would like to send tips or donations as i said on monday any tips or donations that you send are sincerely appreciated we use those uh to continue doing these online events for you that's how we pay for the platforms that we use to host uh, if you would like, uh, specifically, if you say in there, you know, buy something for Pierre or Taco, we'll do that. Uh, we, we are very, very frequent online shoppers. So if you guys send a donation or a tip and you mention Taco or Pierre getting some treats or some clothes, um, we will do that for you as well. So thank you guys. You don't have to, but anybody that does, we sincerely appreciate it. Now we do have more events coming up this week. The majority of which are free. Tomorrow night, uh, I was mistaken on Monday, I apologize. Uh, it's not expensive to play, but the Pause Chicago Trivia Night, there is a $5 fee. If you pay $5 at least, you can donate much more to support Pause Chicago. But if you donate at least $5, you are in to the trivia game tomorrow night. And they have some incredible prizes up for grabs. We're doing general knowledge trivia tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We don't always do Thursday night games, but we will have one tomorrow to support Pause Chicago. And then on Friday, that is an event that is open to the public, but we will be taking donations directly to Daniel Malloy, who is a uh, 
candidate for the College of DuPage Board of Trustees. So if you just want to join and play some trivia, you're more than welcome to. Our friends from Canada and Florida, who this isn't going to affect too much. But I can say uh, personally, Dan is an incredible person. I know him. I've known him for quite a while now. Uh, and he is running for the College of DuPage Board of Trustees. His main thing, and this is why it fits in perfectly that we're doing a trivia night for him, he believes that education is a right not a privilege. Everybody should have access to a good quality education. Uh, so he's trying to make that change happen. And we're happy to support him. We'll be doing trivia via our new platform with Luna Park. Uh, so we are slowly incorporating that because uh, obviously we still like being here on YouTube with you all. But we love our Luna Park platform because you guys can hang out with each other. You can talk with each other. You can play trivia with us. And we can do music trivia, which we can't do here on YouTube. So join us for that on Friday. There is one other event I didn't mention before, but uh, we are hosting another fundraiser on Saturday. So again, we don't always do events on Saturdays, but we will have one this Saturday. We are doing a fundraiser for the Mount Prospect Junior Women's Club. We did uh, an event for the Lamont junior women's club recently this one will be general knowledge trivia you can join there's information on our facebook page if you go to our events page you can purchase a ticket there i want to say this one as well is only five or ten dollars to play you're supporting a fantastic cause and there will be prizes up for grabs and a lot of fun not ten dollars yep so with all of that said thank you guys so much for being here tonight i mentioned earlier that we are playing for fun but we are also playing for taco bucks so if you have a Begatrix loyalty program number, if you win first, second, or third place tonight in our general knowledge trivia competition, you will earn Taco Bucks added to your account. Now, those Taco Bucks are just an online currency that we created, but once you have enough, you can redeem them to earn real life prizes like you see on this screen. We have Begatrix merchandise. We have pop culture merchandise. We have beer and brewery merchandise. And somebody soon will win right in the center of the screen, the second in our limited edition series of the Pets of Bag of Tricks, a framed and autographed photo of Taco, this one entitled Lights, Camera, Banana. Somebody's going to win that uh, whenever they want to. So with all of that said, guys, let me tell you how tonight's game is going to work. Uh, tonight's game is general knowledge trivia. As I mentioned, questions about anything and everything. Uh, some of these questions will be simple. Some will be tough. The first round that we're going to see is going to be multiple choice, which means I'll ask you a question. You'll see four options appear on your screen. All you have to do is select the option that you believe is correct. If you are right, you will earn up to 150 points. If you are wrong, you earn nothing, but you lose nothing. So, uh, don't worry about answering incorrectly. Just take a guess. If you're not sure about any of these questions, some of the questions will be simple. Some of the questions will be tough. They are meant to be mixed up to keep you on your toes. All sorts of categories, as I've mentioned, not in any particular order. The rounds will change as we go through this, but the first round, the first 15 questions are all multiple choice, just like this. The very, very, very first question that I'm about to put up on the screen is going to be a practice question. And that just means that it's not worth any points. This first question will look and act just like all of the other questions so that you can see how the system works. You can get a feeling, hey, Taco, you just rolled right over. You each need two, like, two more hands. Yeah, I know. I have a dog and a dog. You have I a cat. Have a cat. <laughs> and we don't even have all of our pets. Uh, so this this first question... This is my dream life, though, to be honest. I know. I I've agree. I can't wait till we have our rescue farm. Piggies. Oh, God, that's all I want. Uh, first question coming on your screen right now. This is a practice question. It's not worth any points, so don't freak out if this is your first time playing trivia. There's nothing on the line here. The first question is just for fun so you can see how the system works. Question number one. What is the name of your host today? What is the name of your host today? That's me or Pierre, but we're looking for me. What is my name Practice question, no points on the line. Is my name Mary, Pippin, Frodo, or Ali? What is the name of your host today? Oh, Pippin. We, we thought about naming him Pippin for a little bit. Uh, happy hump day, Michelle Korn. I'm just looking at the chat now. Hey, Danny, Steph Curtis, Mert Orland, Kim Wheatley. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, John Jay. Hey, Jess, Maribeth. 
uh, nickname Sparky. Uh, Michelle Corn, welcome. He does look like an Ewok. He absolutely does. Uh, hey, Carl. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, as just said, if you're looking to play the Pause Trivia Fundraiser, make sure you get your donations in by 4 p.m. tomorrow so you can receive those links. Uh, yes, Chris, I also agree with Dan. Hey, Sarah. Katie McLaughlin, uh, did Marvel trivia happen earlier tonight? It did. It was at 7 p.m. with the Elmhurst Library. Oh, thanks, Gina. You're always on top of that. Uh, what was the first pick show titled? Oh, it was ta It was titled Taco a Noir e uh, Taco en Noir et Blanc. Uh -huh. It was Taco in Black and White. Uh, greetings, greetings, greetings. Hey, Middleton Lens, welcome. All right, everybody. Let's take a look. Uh oh, starting off the night with a Chris B social. Sixty nine percent of you correctly said that my name is Ali. Great job, great job. That's a that's a cheers and social. Uh, we'll call this a cupcake social for Chris. Cupcakes. I don't want your cupcakes. Mm. Ooh, that's delicious. All right, question number two. These are the real questions now, my friends. Question number two, Nick Lachey, heartthrob, who met his current wife, Vanessa Manillo, while filming the video for his song, What's Left of Me, a song he wrote about his breakup with which other hmm. singer? Was it Jessica Simpson, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, or Mandy Moore? What's left of me? Pierre is left tired, yes. Uh, learn how to use the Promethean board today. We can also get free COVID testing at school. There you go. That's great, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to finish that sentence. Yeah. It would be better if they did a lot better than if that. If you didn't have to test. The obviously in that GIF is doing a lot of heavy lifting. <laughs> Everybody's in. Is it tuna or is it chicken? The correct answer is Jessica Simpson. Daisy Duke herself. Jessica Simpson. Great job, 91% of you. That's a social cheers, everybody. Question number three. Displaying the soft drink's history since its inception in 1886, World of Coca-Cola is a museum of Coca-Cola located in which U.S. state capital? What state, what city could you visit the the Coca-Cola Museum. Is it Atlanta, Little Rock, Indianapolis, or Austin? <laughs> I love this lady. <laughs> yeah, it's like, she, I don't know what she, she was. She reacts to it, though. The I, craziest part. I feel like she knew it was going to happen, but then didn't have. She don't leans know. into it. Yeah. You know, Coca-Cola can clean a penny, so think about what could you do. We can do your face, face. yeah. yeah Probably shit. cleans it up. All right, everybody's in. Uh, one person each said Indianapolis and Little Rock. 30 people, 94% of you correctly said Atlanta. We're drinking again. Raise your Coca-Cola to the ceiling. <laughs> Question number four of round, the first round. Uh, what was Tom Hanks' character's job in the 1988 film Punchline? What was the job, the profession of Tom Hanks' character in the 1988 film Punchline? Was it a factory worker, a boxer, a party planner, or a comedian? Oh, I'm going to set him down. What's new, Mama? All right. Look at that rabbit. You think that rabbit's okay? Oh, honey. Stuck to the gills. Oh, God. Oh, no. Did he leave? He can't get far. Come here. All right, everybody's in. Four people said a factory worker. Nobody said a boxer. Yeah, what? Tom Hanks can't be a boxer? Oh, he's going towards... I know, I know. No, no, he's okay. Uh, Pierre, sorry, our... our concern here is that pierre cannot walk up and down stairs um i don't think that he will try 
but we're not trying to figure that out. We have very few stairs in our house, but enough that it would be a, an issue for him. Take it quite the jump. Yeah, he is not very agile in his age. Uh, the correct answer here, he was a comedian in Punchline. Comedian. Uh, question number five. Uh, on a Japanese food menu, which of the following terms indicates that the food you're ordering will be lightly batter fried? Mm. I know, I'm hungry. On a Japanese menu, which of these terms indicates that your food will be lightly batter fried? Is it tempura, natto, suyu, or dashi? Why do I always write food questions? This gift is cute. It is adorable, right? Hi, buddy. Oh, God. What happened? You spilled? No. Him? Mm hmm. You spilled? Yes. Uh, Jess got sushi tonight. Jealous. We had sushi Not the other pizza? day. <laughs> yeah. But good, good call. Uh, wow! Double social. Tempura! Tempura! Lightly batter and fry anything, and it's better. Cheers, everybody. That's a two-drink social. Lightly batter fried drink social. Uh, and it is now time for our first look at the standings. Now, again, take these with a grain of salt. It's just the very first time we're seeing them. Things will change. Here we go. Currently, in first place, we have... Team, I'm here! In second, the Corns. In third, Sorella Sand. In fourth, we have Petition to Bring Back Secret Connections. Yeah, we do Secret Connections on our Zoom trivia and our uh, Luna Park trivia. Uh, it, it's tougher here on YouTube, but I support that petition. Uh, in fifth, Santi Yawns. In fifth as well, Penis Cuddling. In seventh, Danny. In eighth, the cookie catastrophe. I just found we have one cookie left. Did you know that? No. I wish I hadn't said anything. I, I, I would have eaten it secretly. There's one more. It's the the one with the frosting, and it's like two different. Oh, mm. Mert Orlin tied with them in eighth. Sweet sassy molassy in tenth. Uh, oh yeah, a cookie catastrophe in eleventh. A poo poo and a pee pee in twelfth. Plenty of vision. The sea in thirteenth. SF Curtis in fourteenth. Geralt of Trivia in 15th. Un Pamplemou pour Pierre. Aw, a grapefruit for Pierre <laughs> in 16th. Jesse in 17th. J-Mo in 18th. Krusty Krabs in 19th. Carl Carsnark in 20th. Mama Lens. Hello. And Mama LaRocca in 22nd. Red Hot Trivia Peppers in 23rd. Welcome back, my friends. 24th is Hasera. 25th, Brat. 26th, A-N-K. 27th, Learn Fern again. 28th, Tolkas. 29th is Kim. 30th is Cool Cat. 31st, Packin' Hammered. 32nd, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, GameStop. Uh, GameStop rose. And last I checked was still rising today, my friends. Oh, no, it went down again. Uh, it was up to 150. Uh, it's at 91.71 at close. So uh, there you go. Some money back on it. Anyway, here we go. I'm not going to read all those team names every time, just in case you're wondering. I'll just read the top couple. Question number six. Which of the following celebrities actually use their given birth name, not an adopted celebrity name? Which of the following celebrities actually go by their birth name, not a stage name or celebrity name? Which of these is their real name? Is it designer Michael Kors, actor Michael Keaton, Actor Michael Caine or singer Michael Bublé? Wow. Only one of those go by their real name. Listen, Pamplemousse is all I remember from high school French. I didn't even take high school French. I learned Pamplemousse from like the side of uh, La LaCroix bottles. Oh, yeah. Or, or uh, cans. Natto equals cold snot beans. Delicious. That sounds amazing. Oh, I want sushi again. Okay. Uh, everybody's in. Oh, wow. All over the place. Four people said Michael Kors. Five people said Michael Keaton. Five people said Michael Caine. 18 people said good old Mickey Bubbles. 
Michael Buble. Uh, he went by Mickey Bubbles as a kid. His real name is Michael Buble. Huh. Question number seven. How many touchdowns did the Kansas City Chiefs score in Super Bowl 55? The most recent of the Super Bowls. Kansas City Chiefs scored how many touchdowns in Super Bowl 55? Was it two, three, one, or zero? How many touchdowns? Uh, two people said two, three people said three, eight people said one, 18 people correctly said zero touchdowns. Yeah, more sports ball. There's not too much tonight. Uh, this one was very recent though. No touchdowns for them. Question number eight. In what Disney animated film does this kitten appear? <laughs> Seen in the gif. What film are you watching if you see this kitten? Is it Lady and the Tramp? The Aristocats, The Rescuers, or Cinderella, Cinderella. I'd like to watch all of those. Yeah, Michelle Court, you like the sports questions. I saw your donation. Thank you uh, for the sports questions. Thank you, thank you. One sixty eight. All right, MD. That's what I thought it was higher after hours. Are the Sternus here? I have questions for the Sternus tonight. Uh, Twenty seven people said the Aristocats. This is Little Marie of the Aristocats. Mother Duchess, Little Marie, and Thomas O'Malley, Alley Cat. Question number nine: Which of the following animals is immune to snake venom? Which of the following animals does not have to worry about being bitten? By a venomous snake. Is it an anteater, a honey badger, a porcupine, or a skunk? All right, everybody's in. I think there was a GIF that I wanted to use. <laughs> honey badger don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Not much you can do to a honey badger. Uh, that is the correct answer. Question number 10. Florida, we have a few friends from Florida tonight, is known as the lightning capital of the United States. Which of the following sports leagues has a Tampa-based team named after this phenomenon? Which of these leagues has a Tampa-based team named after the lightning capital of the United States? Is it the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, or the MLB? The book I'm reading, someone gets um, murdered by the electrical. Really? By the, wait, murdered by lightning or the electric chair? What'd you just say? What'd you say? By being electrocuted. By being electrocuted. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. Everybody's in. Okay, you did well. NHL, the Tampa Bay, the Tampa Lightning. Lightning, the hockey team. All right. Uh, that's question 10. Here are the standings. Currently in first, Danny. Second, I'm here. Third is Dak Corns. Oh, we've been on Taco Cam the whole time. That's great. Sorry. No, no. That's not your job. I didn't notice. It's because it's so cute. Yeah. You want to be all you rub? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll get to chest. Oh. Yeah. 
All right, six more questions left in the multiple choice round. Here we go. Question 11. As viewers were regularly reminded during the run of the show, the M in MASH, as in the movie and TV show, stands for what? Is it medical, mobile, military, or mission? Taco. He's about to enter dreamland. I bet he starts kicking his legs. Scoot up. Don't fall off the desk. Bro. All right, everybody's in. Question number 11. Five people said medical. Five people said military. One person said mission. 19 people said mobile. I believe this is the mommy. Mommy. The Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. Uh, is that right? MASH meaning. Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. Yeah, I was right. That's what I thought. I doubt myself when I'm hosting. All right, question 12. The Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series takes place in what fictional California town? Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series takes place in which fictional California town? Is it Sunnydale, Springfield, Sunny Falls, or Somerville? Mobile. Thanks, Carl. Yeah. All right, everybody's in. Oh, you guys did not struggle. It was Sunny Dale. Sunny Dale. Yeah, we don't talk about Joss. We just uh, talk about the show. <laughs> Question 13. What 1941 American classic film produced and directed and starring Orson Welles is shown here? We're seeing Orson Welles in a clip from which of these films? Is it Citizen Kane, To Be or Not To Be, The Great Dictator, or his... Girl Friday. Everybody's in. We didn't struggle here. Rosebud, Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane, crazy film. Question 14. In season 9 and season 10 of Friends, the three lead actresses became the highest paid TV actresses of all time. How much did they earn per episode in season 9 and season 10? Was it 500,000, 750,000, 1 million, or 2 million? All right, everybody's in. <coughs> Three people said 500,000. Six people said 7.5. 100,000, 750,000. Uh, 18 people said a million. Three people said 2 million. The correct answer is actually, uh, and they still hold this record, they are the highest paid TV actresses of all time still. That's amazing. Yeah, per still? episode, per episode, they were making a million. Okay. Nobody else has made a million dollars per <laughs> episode. <laughs> Uh, a million dollars. And it's interesting. I was I looking. I filmed one episode of Eastside. Yeah. I was <laughs> looking through the statistics uh, or just like the, the layout of this. They were making. Um, hold on. Because I really want to say how much did the actresses make 
on Friends. It's incredible how it changed between like season six and um, seven. Uh, I don't know, time to go through it. But they, they started out making like, it was like 50,000 per episode. I remember when they renegotiated. Yeah, and then it went up to like 100. And then it was 200. And then it goes crazy. It went from 300 or 250,000 in like season five to 750,000 in season six and seven. And then it was like 800,000. And then in season nine and 10, they were getting a million dollars per episode, uh, which is great. I mean, it was the highest watched show on TV. They certainly deserved it. All right, here we go. Question number 15. Which of the following options are not the name of a main character on the TV show, The Good Place? Which of the following individuals is not a name, main character on the TV show, The Good Place? Is it Michael, Kelly, Eleanor, or Jason? Oh, uh, everybody's in. 20 people said Kelly. 20 people were correct. 20 people were correct. Kelly, we did have Michael, we have Eleanor, we have Jason. Question 16. Walt Disney Studios, the movie studio that produces Disney films, is located in what? U.S. City. Is it Anaheim, California, Studio City, California, Burbank, California, or Lake Buena Vista, Florida? Marcel's highest paid actor. He deserved it. He did have a, a commercial spot for Monkey Shine Beer. So Joey. Ichiban. Yeah, Ichiban. So interestingly, this just made me, um, th doing that question just made me Google uh, the, an updated list. And surprisingly, Jennifer Aniston still makes the list because she made $2 million per episode of The Morning Show. But uh, I should update it because technically Reese Witherspoon is tied with her now. She made $2 million per episode of The Show, of The Morning Show. Oh, I love them both. On Apple. So. That show is incredible. Uh, they were also making a million dollars per episode for Game of Thrones, uh, Lena Headey, Amelia Clark, uh, so they would be up there with them. Uh, but adjusted for inflation, uh, Jennifer Aniston's still on the, she's number one. It's incredible. All right, everybody's in. The correct answer here, it's not Anaheim. I believe Anaheim is where you could visit um, the parks out in California. But the correct answer here, Burbank, California. Burbank. California. Uh, all right, that's it for multiple choice. Let's take a look at the standings currently. And first is I'm here. Second is Danny. Third is Duckhorns. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We're going to switch things up here in just a second. We'll have a picture round coming up. And then our final round after that. Tacos passed out. You had a long, hard day of doing nothing, huh? Sitting around, eating food, barking at stuff. What a tough life, my dude. Where's Pierre nowadays? I'm not there. Oh, good. All right, here we go. Next round. This is a picture round. Uh, I'll be showing you a picture. You have to answer based on what that picture is asking you. Now, this is also where we switch things up. You will no longer have multiple choice options to choose from. From this point on, I'm going to show you the, the question. You have to type your answer in. All right? Pretty straightforward. Uh, the next five questions are worth 250 points apiece. If you get it right, you earn all the points. If you get it wrong, you earn none of the points. Thank you, Maribeth, for the donation. Thank you so much. I just saw that. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, you're the best. And thank you, Jess, as well. Un barre pour Pierre, s'il vous plaît. We will get Pierre a hat just for you. Oh, I'm on it. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Maribeth. Sincerely, I really appreciate that. Um, all right, here we go. This We've done this round before. We have new questions tonight. This is Rebus Puzzles. These are picture puzzles. So the picture will be trying to communicate a word or a phrase through a unique combination of, of letters or pictures or drawings. So I'm going to show you a picture. You have to type the word or the phrase that the picture is trying to communicate. Um, try to be as specific as you can. I think the first one's pretty easy. Should give you an idea of what we're looking for here. Okay. All right, here's our first Rebus puzzle. So this Yay, is a picture puzzle. So fun. What is this picture trying to communicate? What is the secret word or phrase contained in this? Yeah, mom. You're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, mom. Ooh, Ted Lasso. Uh, I They just confirmed Ted Lasso season two is going to drop this summer. Thank God. Yeah, summer 2021. I'm she living. We, I'll watch it tonight. I will rewatch season one of Ted Lasso oh, every week. It's just... Oh. So fresh. So fantastic. It doesn't surprise me that Stephanie Curtis likes it. I, I can see that, and she has good taste. Uh, this one I'm going to be pretty specific on. Uh, 75% of you got it right, and we're going to call 70% the, the drinking social uh, range here. The correct answer, you have pot over how many O's? Eight of them. Pot, eight <gasps> O. I never would have Potato. Boil them, mash them, stick them in the stew. Question 18. What is this yes. re Rebus puzzle? What is this Rebus puzzle? I know this one. More like rough life, am I right? Nice, John. Oh I just saw that. Oh my God. What is the closest if you like X show you'll like Ted Lasso? Oh. I, honestly, it's just, Jess, I don't have a good oh. close show. It's so fresh. There, there's so many different um, types of comedy within the show. It's uplifting, but at the same time, dramatic. And it's, and it's, you know, it's comedic. British meets American. Yeah, it's it's a dry British comedy with American humor, if that makes sense, I guess. Everybody's in. Um, no, different than Shit's Creek. It's really hard to Yeah, describe. it's not like Shit's Creek. Uh... Everybody's in. Ooh, a lot of good guesses, but I'm going to be strict on this one too. 75% of you exactly. Again, you guys like your Rebus puzzles. This is holy water. Cheers. Father, son, holy ghost. What do you do? I don't know. I'm not Catholic. Cheers. Holy water. Uh, question number 19. This is my favorite of the round. This is a tough one. Solve this Rebus puzzle. What is it trying to communicate? This is my favorite one. It does deal with sports, though, but you can appreciate, Chris, um, that it's literally a man who's never played soccer becoming a soccer coach, a football coach. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jess, if you have Apple TV, I would watch it. Spaghetti Western. Uh, did your watch go up? What's it? What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, I felt dumb. I don't know. We can find out. Oh, you just asked. All right, everybody's in... Maybe because I was, like, moaning and thinking too hard. <laughs> Everybody guessed a guy, angry eye. This is I screaming. Ice cream. 63% of you got it right. Uh, these are meant to be kind of tough. Ice cream. I scream. The yo. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I am really not in the ball what? tonight. I did not get that. Yeah, what was it? I get it. I don't get it. My decibel counter on my watch. <gasps> oh, because I'm yelling the, a lot. Uh, yeah. So Stephanie's dogs mm. woke up. Oh, shit. I'll be quiet. Sorry, Alex and Gordon. Well, you know everybody's dogs' names. Duh. Everybody, question number 20. I'm going to be quieter. Okay. 
Uh, this is a little bit easier. This is easier than ice cream. What is this Rebus puzzle trying to communicate? <laughs> I woke up the dogs. <laughs> I turned off my noise counter. Now, to be fair, it's from woodworking uh, because it would go off even though I wear ear protection. The watch doesn't know. So it was annoyingly going off all the time. Uh, but it probably pays its dividends in this room when I'm yelling at myself. You can get a free... Yeah, get the free trial of Apple TV and then watch Ted Lasso. You'll finish it in like a day. Uh, everybody's in... This one. We're trying to get at coconut. Coconuts. Coco nuts. Cheers, everybody. That's 89% of you. Most of the time. <laughs> Question number 21. I think this might be the easiest one, but it's also, I think, the most fun, so I put it last. Question 21. Solve this Rebus puzzle. What is this trying to say? Did you turn it off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Middleton, like, it might have just been like, fuck this, I'm out. It's going off every 20 seconds. My watch is like, I'm tired. I'm not here for this. What about this? Please buy that. <laughs> I will. You will never wear it. Gina is currently not doing anything to do with trivia. She is searching dog berets, <laughs> which I fully support. Uh, somebody went with potato again, which I'm here for. Uh, uh, three of you were the opposite way. We weren't looking for we're over sexy. We were looking for sexy underwear. You have sexy underwear, like tidy whities somebody said. 86% of you got this right. Sexy underwear. Cheers, everybody. Uh, like, uh, Walter White, the tidy whities in the desert. All right, here are the standings. Currently in first, Geralt of Trivia. In second, hey yo, the Cookie Catastrophe. In third, hey, yo. Danny. So we have an East Coast first through third place, I believe. Uh, and Florida second and third. Uh, so what's up, Midwest? There are a lot of Midwest here. And uh, not in first, second, or third. Shout out to the East Coast right now. All right, uh, we do have one round left. 10 questions. These are worth 300 points apiece. These are about anything and everything, just like the very first round. But unlike the first round, you have to type your answer in. So no multiple choice options will be popping up. These questions will be random. Some of them easy, some of them tough. Each worth 300 points. So give it your best shot. You don't lose any points if you're wrong. 10 questions left. And it's a close game right now. Uh, first and second is only 52 points apart. Second and third is only 21 points apart. Uh, so this is going to be a close finish. Give it everything you got, but no cheating, no Googling, no looking anything up. Here we go. Question 22. Who was the host of the popular radio program American Top 40 from 1970 until 2014? What was the name of the host of the popular radio program American Top 40? 1970 to 2014. No, we're not going anywhere, Taco. Oh. She was just saying. <laughs> I'm sure he's warm. Potatoes are pretty damn sexy. <laughs> Depends on what potato you have. All right, let's see. Lots of ways to spell this guy's name, and you guys figured out every way to do it. Uh, the correct answer is not Dick Clark. Uh, it's not Ryan Seacrest. I believe Ryan Seacrest took over after this individual stopped. The correct answer was Casey Kasem. You may know him from his brief cameo on Saved by the Bell. Uh, I do. <laughs> uh, that was the only. I didn't. Used to always come to Yorktown Mall too. When I was Did he really? Aww. It would be like Christmas radio shows. What a guy. What a voice. Uh, question 23. Uh, when people suffer from sleep apnea, they are often directed to use a CPAP machine. What does the final P in the acronym CPAP stand for? What does the second P in CPAP stand for? The 
his dog. I know. A little snore on his cheek flaps. Come on, everybody. Let's do the spraying. Yeah, Screech and Lisa. Oh, Screech. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Yeah, Sarah, our internet looks pretty good on this end. I'm not sure. Maybe it's uh, the Midwest attacking you because they heard that East Coast was doing well. <laughs> yeah, our speed's good. I'm not sure. Maybe refresh. I just double-checked. I do take that stuff seriously. All right, everybody's in. As long as you said something close to... <laughs> not penis. Uh, pressure. Pressure. Under pressure. Mm -hmm. 68% of you got that right. It is a continuous positive airway pressure. Helps force that air into your lungs. Pressure. Great job. Question 24. Taylor Swift incredibly released two albums in 2020. Folklore in July. And which other album in December? What was the name of the second Alber? Albert? Albert? album that taylor swift released in 2020 albert works albert where are you going bud I'm his hot box. <laughs> it's not even that warm i guess i could turn on my face you need to turn on my face all right everybody's in somebody said uh uh, Evermore, do you want the track listing or is that extra? <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody said it starts with an E. Encore, close, 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 close. Not Willow, not Believe. Uh, Unicorn, Kitten, Queen. That's a good guess. The correct answer is Evermore. Folklore and Evermore. Great job. Yeah, I do like Unicorn, Kitten, Queen. Question 25. In 1992... What became, which U.S. state became the first ever to elect two women to the U.S. Senate? In 1992, what U.S. state became the first ever to elect two women to the U.S. Senate? Excuse me. I feel like so you want to like old 19... 30s like uh slapstick comedies when they're trying to act drunk <laughs> like when the mouse yeah. falls into the wine yeah yeah in dumbo yeah. yeah yeah timothy q mouse wait why is this insult is your sister playing no. oh yeah i didn't realize that i had questions in here for her and i had questions for the sternas and they're not here I'm going to make sure everybody knows about this. Uh, oh, somebody knew California. Feinstein and Boxer. Women? Hell yeah. Uh, the correct answer was California. I got that one at the end. Somebody just put Cal. That counts. California. Uh, here are the standings. Last time we'll see them before the end. Uh, we have Geralt of Trivia in first. Un Pamplemousse pour Pierre in second. And I'm here in third. Everybody else take a look. See where you're at. We'll get into the final round here in just a second. Taco, you're so much longer. What happened? Scratchy, scratchy. The chair needs some WD-40. All right, here we go. Final round. Five questions left, 300 points apiece. Question 26. Actors were portraying what band making a new record in the famous More Cowbell skit on SNL in this skit scene here? What band were these actors portraying in the More Cowbell skit? Oh, everybody's in. Let's take a look. 
<laughs> Suck it, Trebek. Uh, the correct answer was Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult. Don't eat blue oysters. There's my recommendation. Question 27. Both with seven. This is a sports question, and it's tough. Name either of the two NFL teams who have had the very first pick in the NFL draft the most times. Both of these teams have had seven times that they've had the first pick in the NFL draft. Name either of them. You have a two in 32 shot. You have a one in 16 shot. Everybody's in. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know what I would have guessed uh, if I was playing this. Uh, I would have said the Browns. I would have said the Browns, uh, but it was not the Browns. It wasn't the Browns. It is the Colts and the Rams. So if you said either the Colts or the Rams, you got points here. Um, either the Indianapolis Colts or the St. Louis, Los Angeles Rams. You got points. Uh, great job. Question number 28. What is the name of the Irish New Zealand actor who portrayed the main character of Alan Grant in the first Jurassic Park film? I'm looking for a full name first and last if you can. What is the name of this actor on Jeff Goldblum's chest who portrayed... Alan Grant in the first Jurassic Park film. You hate this gif? I love this gif so much. This is the best gif! Get out of here! Thank you, Jess. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it just hits, it hits a weirdness. Oh, that... it hits the perfectness. All right, everybody's in. Uh, it's not Jonathan Taylor Thomas, not Jeff Goldblum. It has been rough for some of you. The correct answer is Sam Neill. 77% of you got this right. You had a gift of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems so sensual. Yeah, yeah, it should certainly creep you out. It's not meant to be normal. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Goldblum playing the part of the Triceratops I here. I the person who made it probably thought it was the funniest thing Oh, I've yeah, ever done. absolutely. It makes me want to write Jurassic Park trivia but, questions. Uh, question 29. Uh, this is not a Taylor Swift question. Surprisingly, it does have to do with her, but it's not about her. In 2015, Taylor Swift became only the second woman ever to win Billboard's Artist of the Year for a second time. Who was the first? Only two women in history have won Billboard's Artist of the Year twice. Taylor Swift did it second. Who did it first? All right, all right, all right. Get these answers in. Ooh, is anybody going to get it? Let's see what we thought. Madonna, 10 people said. Whitney Houston, Beyonce, Britney Spears, Rihanna, Dolly Parton, Adele, Cher, Reba, Dolly Parton, Alicia Keys, Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande. The correct answer, Adele. Mm, Adele. I that somewhere in my soul. Yeah, Adele, the one that did it first. Question 30. Chelsea Sully Sullenberger gained fame. In 2009, when he successfully emergency landed the plane he was piloting in an emergency, in what river? What river did Sully... Another Tom Hanks question, kind of. Uh, what river did he emergency land his plane in?
Everybody's in. Uh, yeah, gotta watch for those damn geese, somebody said. The correct answer is Hudson. We know a Hudson. Don't ever travel with Tom Hanks or um, Matt Damon. Don't ever travel with Matt Damon either. You'll get stranded. Uh, the correct answer is Hudson River. His birthday is Friday. Give me one. You're right. Uh, all right, final question. Uh, Sarah, no, Adele has done it too. I just double checked. Adele and uh, Taylor, the only female solo artists to win this twice. Uh, there are other artists who have won it twice. 50 Cent, uh, Destiny's Child, not Beyonce. Destiny's Child did it. Usher and Drake. Uh, all right, final question, number 31. What restaurant chain uses the marketing slogan eating good in the neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Airplanes are just submarines of the sky, if you think about it. <laughs> he really wanted to make a pit stop at the Cake Boss Bakery at Hoboken, but didn't want to get off of it, though. <laughs> oh, Sarah, nice. Yeah, Drunk Denzel turned that plane upside down. What film was that? Denzel upside down mm. plane. Flight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched that. That was. I mean, not really easy to remember. No, it was more serious than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it was good. All right, let's see who's eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Somebody said lies. All right, everybody is in. The correct answer here, yeah, uh, probably not uh agreeable by a lot of you the correct answer is applebee's applebee's what a weird name applebee's the correct answer all right my friends that's it that's it that's the final question that was someone's last name when they first started. my name's john appleby and you're gonna be eating good in the neighborhood just like that <laughs> that's probably what he sounded like uh everybody's in and uh, we're going to look at the final standings. Before we do, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to those of you that sent donations specifically. Again, um, uh, Maribeth Lenz, thank you so much. Jess, thank you so much for the donation. We will get a beret pour beer. Uh, if you're in first, second, or third tonight, you will win yourself some Taco Bucks. Uh, and eventually you can redeem those taco bucks Ooh. for some prizes. Here we go. Final standings tonight. In first, second, third, and so on, we have Geralt of Trivia. In first place, 27 out of 31 correctly. Un pepper mousse pour Pierre. In second, I'm here in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. If you're in first, second, or third, let me know your loyalty program number in the chat, or I'll look it up, but you can help me out by putting it in the chat. Uh, but other than that, my friends, we are done for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all the Taco and Pierre love. They love you right back. We will see you for trivia tomorrow if you're interested, as Jess mentioned, for the pause. Uh, pause up pause fundraiser trivia night make sure you get your donation in so that you get the links by 4 p.m central tomorrow uh we'll be back on friday that is open to everyone for the daniel malloy uh fundraiser for the college of dupage board of trustees friday at seven and then saturday at seven we're doing a fundraiser once again for the mount prospect junior women's club all of those That's events saturday. every single one of them yep can be found on our Facebook and our website, facebook.com slash big of tricks. Until then, be safe, everybody. Take Bye care. Guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your hands, wear your masks, and see you soon.